how to create a drop down in Microsoft Excel. A lot of times we might want to create a drop down for our different different cells in different worksheets or workbooks so that we can give an option to the users of that Excel workbook to select between a list of options as the value for a specific cell. Let's see how we can create a drop down for the same in Microsoft Excel. To do that, I'll quickly jump on to Microsoft Excel and here we have the data of a company which sells three products, sweater, jackets and pants. It sells it in three different sizes, small, medium and large and the prices for each combination has been mentioned in this two-way table. What we want to do is create a drop down for product and size where clicking on the drop down all the products that we offer can be displayed and the same is the case with size. So if someone clicks on the drop down button they will be able to see all the different sizes that we offer. How do I create the drop down? Well, it's actually quite simple. All you have to do is go to the cell in which you want to create that drop down. Then you will have to go to the data tab in Microsoft Excel. Once you go to the data tab, within the data tools section, you will be having something called as data validation. Data validation is a tool which will help you specify what kind of data is allowed to be entered in a cell and what is not. So this is going to help you create a drop down. One of the options that it offers is to create a drop down for a specific cell. So let's go ahead, click on data validation and open up the data validation dialog box. In this data validation dialog box, you can specify what can be entered in this cell and what cannot be entered in that cell. You have a list of different different things that you can select from. For example, you can specify that only whole numbers can be entered in this cell. Only decimal values can be entered. A list of different different things can be entered which is what we are going to use. Only dates can be entered, only time can be entered and so on. The one that we are looking for in order to create a drop down is this option of list. You see, whenever you are creating a drop down, you need to understand that drop down is nothing but a list of options, a list of different different values that are allowed to be entered in that cell. Anything that is not a part of the drop down, not a part of that list will not be allowed. So that's the reason why we will be selecting list as the option under allow. Once you select it, the only thing that you need to mention is the source. That is, what all different options do you want to be having inside this drop down? Well, the first cell is going to be containing all the different products that we are having in this store. So how do I specify that? Well, there are multiple ways of doing this. One way would be the manual way of entering each and everything, each and every product separated by a comma in between. So you can enter sweater, comma, jacket, comma, pants, etc. Or because you already have all these names in these three different cells, all you have to do is refer to these three cells and your drop down will be based on it. Another advantage of this method is that whenever you change a product in these three cells, your drop down will dynamically update itself to have that instead of the old product. So let's go ahead and apply this logic here. I'll go to source and simply select these three cells from sweater to pant. So as you can see, I have the reference from B3 that is this cell to B5 that is this cell. All I have to do is click on OK and that's it. As you can see right here, I have a drop down which will allow me to select any of the three values. You have to select for example sweater to have sweater inside it, jacket for jackets and pants for pants as well. All right. At the same time, if you go here and try to enter something which is not a part of your drop, drop down. For example, let's say I'm entering jeans. If I enter jeans and try to hit enter, I will get the error by Microsoft Excel that this value doesn't match the data validation restrictions. It is not a part of the list of options that I have allowed the user to enter in this drop down and hence it is not allowed. You can either retry with a different value 
or simply cancel it to remove the value that is discard the value that you have entered. So as I mentioned, you can only select the values, the options that the dropdown allows you to enter in this particular cell. Now, if you go here and for example, change sweater to let's say my name just for an example and go back to this dropdown, you will see that sweater has now been replaced with Jatan. So instead of manually entering values in the source, I personally always refer to different different cells because I would want to have my dropdown in a dynamic manner. Again, if you go here and change it back to sweater, this will again change back to sweater as you can see. This is how you can create a dropdown. Let's go ahead and create one more dropdown. I'll go here, again go to data tab, data validation. In case you do not have the text data validation written anywhere, all you have to do is find this logo. This logo might be a little bit different depending on your Excel version. It keeps on updating. However, more or less, it will remain the same and you will be easily able to find data validation function. Click on it. Again, you have to go here, select the option of list. And this time, our source data, the values that I want as a part of my dropdown will be these three cells. So I can go to source, select small till large. These three cells from C2 to E2. Click on OK and here I will be having the dropdown of small, medium and large. You can select any value that you want in this particular cell from that dropdown. And this is how you can create a dropdown in Microsoft Excel for your data whenever required. That's it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next one.